Hey guys, Francis here with The Brim Factor and in today's video we're going to go through the entire process of selling some of our shares on Chapel Hill Denim and withdrawing the money into our local bank account. Now I got a couple of messages and even a comment here on the, on the channel where someone said they couldn't get their money out and I'm going to walk you through the entire process today so um, stick with me to the very end. I will also say that you stick with me, watch the entirety of this video so that you don't miss any important steps because I will educate you so that you can be confident to start using your Chapel Hill Denim account. So let's get into it. First of all, I want to walk you through a couple of things, the dashboard in case you're new so that nothing is going over your head. So I'm going to click into my equity value. This is total cash to start with. Total cash position means the your purchasing power, the money you have right now to buy shares, yeah? And the money you can withdraw. Then equity value is like the money you have in shares that you can sell off and then turn it into your withdrawal balance or your total cash position. I hope that makes sense. So portfolio is just the same thing as this. Um, all of your cash plus all of the money you can use to buy shares. So you can see this is 175,000 because they're adding the 284 that I have that is not in my equity value. So this is the total. So you see equity plus shares, uh, sorry, equity plus cash. So I hope that makes sense. But let me go into my equity value and show you guys. So in my equity value, you can see that my total cost, this was what I spent in the initial purchase of my shares. I have not opened this for quite a while. I just forgot about this and it's been well over a year now, about a year and three or four months. So because it happened in February, yeah? So I, and I paid 113,000 Naira to get 700 um, units of shares. In that time period, the, the value of the shares have gone up to 174,000. So that's about a 60,000 Naira profit, if my math is correct. I can either buy more or sell. So just to show you, because a lot of people have been complaining that they don't know how to withdraw their money. If you're using Chapel Hill, of course, this would be great for you. But even if you're not using Chapel Hill, the process will be the same. So if you want to withdraw your funds, you can see that your current balance is this. Like I told you guys, this is what I have. There was a video I made on how to buy shares on Chapel Hill. I deposited money into my account and made some purchase. So this was just the leftover from that. Until I sell some of my equity, I liquidate some of my, my asset, my equity that's my shares i cannot have it to withdraw hope that makes sense so let's go back and um, there are two ways you can do this you can either go to trading sorry go down here to trading and go to new trade or you can just go back to dashboard here and scroll back down to your equity value and click on buy or sell in this case we want to sell i'm just going to sell maybe 20 units of this current equity value this purchasing power this this is grayed out because we cannot withdraw this this is what we're going to be able to withdraw that's why it's green so to sell i'm going to select equity as the instrument that's the only option there anyways you want to make sure that you select the right available stock for you if you're selling what i have is mtn nigeria so if you have shares in any of these other companies then you have to select that if that's the share you want to sell. Of course, you can have multiple shares for um, um, differ different uh, um, companies. So for now, I only have for, Ni for Ni MTN Nigeria here. And the other type is sell that we've selected. Let me show you a couple of things. They're going to pop up some messages to, for you to understand. So this is important. Buy orders, other requests are processed and executed only within the trading hours of 10 a.m to 2 p.m it's about uh, 12 p.m 12 p.m right now 12 p.m sharp so i still have about two hours to trade uh, monday to friday except public holidays and weekends so um, but if you go to sell sorry if you go to sell you see that they remind you that this is why i actually didn't want to make this video earlier because i wanted to qualify for this 20 shares per 250 shares so you you be, be reminded that to qualify for the one free share sorry one free share um for every 20 shares you buy the this offer is subject to a maximum of 250 shares you will need to hold your shares for at least one year another pop-up here says a sell order is processed um, in three business days after the proceeds settle in your cash account click withdraw on the left side of the portal to request a transfer to your registered bank or click on new trade to purchase additional shares as you want to use the money now to buy more shares so the reason why i'm reading all of this for you is for you to understand because the problem is some people will make these orders and if it's taking some time they're going to start panicking but the thing is 
um, if you read through these pop-ups and these messages you know how the process works so typically to take three days sometimes it may not take three days i've not personally tried this before i've not uh, initiated any withdrawal before so i'm not going to pretend like i know how it works but at least i will follow the the uh, timeline that they give which is three days but usually in this type of things they are just giving you worst case scenario sometimes it will just happen quicker than they uh, estimated okay so i'm going to click on ok there and then select for the price type now the market type uh, pr price type is if you want your transaction to be executed quickly on the current market price but if you want to set a limit this is to set a maximum or minimum price at which you are willing to complete the transaction whether it be buy or sell so this is like you saying i don't want to sell below a particular amount or above a particular amount this is very common people who do crypto trading will understand this because it's very um, volatile on shares like this it doesn't spike that often so if you want to sell you nine times out of ten use the market price type okay so i'm going to do just 20 units of my shares here so i can so i will get um 5000 naira let's do good for the day good for the day is only valid for one trading day so if it doesn't happen between this time frame um, if the trade is not executed in that trading period it will expire and i will have to enter this whole process again okay um but this is good till cancel so good to cancel is a type of trade that is active until executed or cancelled manually maximum to 90 days so i think i'm just going to do good to cancel because i really want to sell these shares and see how long it takes so i'm going to click on preview order and yeah that's exactly what what i want to do and i'm going to click on complete order so my request is successful i'm going to click on finish and then we're going to wait hey guys so we are back and the same thursday first of june when i placed the order to sell my shares i got a text message from chapel hill just to confirm the order so you can when you see that um, text message just know uh, it just tells you about the trade date how much of your shares you sold and the amount per unit yeah just take note of that but i didn't get any notifications as to when it will drop but today is the 6th of june it probably dropped yesterday i didn't check until today but today this is the 6th of june account my account has now been credited in my current balance i can see uh, i now have the 5103 naira in my account so this confirms that it works it just takes time i would advise if you want to make a, a withdrawal sale or anything just do it somewhere around the beginning of the week say on the on a monday so that there will be ample time for for that transaction to be processed okay so but now that we have the money in our account we can decide to do one of two things if you want to buy shares again you can go to trading you now see that our purchasing power has increased to so the money we have and we can withdraw it's now in the green equity is down now to 169 for the purpose of this video i'm going to head back over to withdraw and withdraw this money into my account so that we can complete the full cycle yeah i'm going to select the amount let's say i want to do let's just do the 5000 clicks to request so your account would have already been um, given to primary offer when you bought these shares if you did this when i did it if you did not uh, if you if you signed up on Chapel Hill directly, I also made a video telling you guys how you can do that. You will also be asked to provide your account for when you want to withdraw. So you don't have to do anything else. Just make sure that that account is active and fully functional before you place a, a withdrawal request. So I'm going to click on finish. So after initiating that withdrawal, it's the 7th of June now, a day later. I've gotten that a lot in my uba account yes this is a very credible company if they were not credible mtn will not be partnering with them so the only thing i think a lot of people don't understand is they go in with the expectation of it's going to be instant but you can see i started this whole process on the on the first of june and it's the 7th of june so it took exactly one week so that's the kind of um, frame that you should be having in your mind if you want to initiate some sales of your shares and to the point where the money will come into your bank account. I hope this video has been helpful and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.